What is up my Jamberries? It's Jamberite, and today we've got another episode of Undertale. Last time we fought some weird possessed dummy and ran into a ghost that looked like Naps to Bluke, Naps to Block, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to his house. Let's figure what out English. I can't English. Let's just find out what this is all about. It's locked. Oh, he really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is Ghost Sandwich. You want to try it? Eh, sure, why not? Never mind. Oh, it didn't work. Another ghost. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Oh man, you and me both, brother. <laughs> brother. I don't know why I just said it like that. I mean, hell, it could be a girl. You and me both, sister. I don't know. Just you and me both. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah. Alright, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Yeah, alright. It's a pretty good way to start an episode. Just gonna chill here for a bit. Feel like total trash. You know, speaking of trash, why do you, um, Yaoi fangirls call themselves trash and what the heck is happening right now? I can see infinity from here. Three books, the spider web, the computer desktop. Oh man. Is this. Is this what pondering the universe feels like? Is this what they call deep thought? Is this supposed to represent my subconscious mind as I fade into the world of dreams? No, it's just random wish washy garbage. Let's get on out of here. Well, that was nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's check out what's in these books. You still need to recover from all that lying down. Oh, man! Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, he's a musician. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, no! It's that thing that I mentioned that one time, a while ago. But I think I mentioned it earlier in the last episode also. <laughs> Whenever it said treasure to the north. Anyway, it's not important. This CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it? Sure. Oh, this song is way too spooky! Make it stop! <laughs> oh, oh god. Make it stop. It's too spooky. Oh, spook wave. Okay, let's play this one. Ah, this, is not, this is even more spookier! Stop it! Stop! 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 Spook tunes! Yeah, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh no! Ah! I'm out of here! No! It didn't stop! This is horrible! Oh my god! I'm out. Oh, oh my god. That... That was the scariest part of the game so far. Oh my god. Hold on, just give me a second. Alright. I don't know what that was all about. I got really scared for some reason can't talk to these things. There's like a ghost. It's crazy. Hey. Hi. Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. I was pressing the X button instead of the O button. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Oh, they are the Blukes. The Blocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's messed up. Wait, what does that sign say? North, Block Acres, East, Hotland. Unknown, Temi Village. Oh man, this game's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Here I thought I would just play this really quickly, but it looks like it's gonna take a lot more time than I thought. Are all of these ghosts into music? You wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play, sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? 
three, two, one. Ikimas! I can't. Ah, uh, that was painful. <sighs> you encourage your snail too much. Oh, I think I broke my nails. <laughs> oh man, that was intense. All oh, that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. <sighs> Why did that physically exhaust me? What the hell? I was just like, ah! Uh, I can't even reenact it. I I'm done with that. Anyways, that was exhausting, both physically and mentally. Oh hey, it's a duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. That is clearly a duck, not a bird. Accept the bird's offer? Not right now. First, we are going to go onwards after we save. Feel very calm and tranquility. Fail with determination. Save. 211 minutes in this game. Huh. <sighs> Jeez. What does the sign say? Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. <laughs> Come and browse my wares, little one. Oh boy, here we go. Some NPC dialogue time. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about that emblem. I don't even see an emblem. What emblem? Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Ha ha ha. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Ha ha ha. Great name, huh? It's as I always say Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. <laughs> Emblem's meaning, Neil. The King. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy go lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> ah, you senile old turtle, you. Or are you a tortoise? You're a senile tortoise. Oh, man. Let me stop. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Tell me about Undyne. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha! <laughs> oh man, he reminds me of that girl from Katawa Shoujo. Wahaha! <laughs> okay, let me stop. And let me stop with the let me stopping. <laughs> that emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. What is the prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling the winged circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see the little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Alright. I guess I will buy a... Invincible Longer? Cloudy glasses. Minus five attack, but you're invincible longer. Yeah, sure, I'll take both of those. Looks like a crab. Heals 10 HP, speed up in battle. Oh, that sounds good. 
take the crab apple too. Oh man, I'm carrying too much. Oh there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Let me sell something. I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Or is it? I don't remember. Oh man. It's messed up. Oh, there's a box though. So that helps. Just put my punch card in there. I don't need it right now. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Oh. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Ooh. Ah. Uh oh. Special enemy Temmy appears here to defeat you. Temmy only wants the Temmy flakes. No, so hunger dies. Oh no! Temmy forgot her other attack. You say hello to Temmy. Hoi! I'm Temmy! What the heck? Stop! Okay. Temmy vibrates intensely. Oh, okay. Just spare it. Wait a minute. What is it going on here? Oh, I gotta go this way now. I see. Alley, you. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Whoops. Alright. Kind of just going through this path right now, there's really not much to say other than that. I guess this is the um, equivalent of an RPG dungeon, I guess. I mean, actually, that's literally what it is. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Why? What do you want? Flirt. You wiggle your hips. Suddenly. go! Oh no, what the heck? It's a different enemy. Oh, the game tricked me by thinking if I did the same thing to the other one that worked, that it would work on this one, and now it's a completely different enemy, and now I've been totally trolled in front of everyone. Oh, this is so wacky! Uh, I'm gonna unhug you. <laughs> it appreciates your respect of its boundaries. It's funny. I wish it would appreciate mine. There we go. Nope. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Ah. Uh. Oh, I found another one. 
Wait, no. I was going the right way. Ah, not more of this. <laughs> Green means clean. Come on, it's in the water. Hey, come on in, the water's fine. Oh man. They're not actually hurting me. I just realized that. Let's talk to Aaron. Let's flex. <laughs> oh no! But Aaron's hurting me. Scrub a dub dubs! Wub a lubba dub dub! Can you guys not? Just flex the Aaron again. Out darn spot. Nice, I won't lose though, winky face. Oh! Oh! Just flex one more time and Aaron should go away. Alright, we did it. Wash you leg. Ah! That hurt. Okay, but I'm good. I'm fine. I'm alive. That's the least I could ask for. Or rather, it's the most I could ask for. Actually, it's both. I don't know. I'm just glad to be alive. I don't like how I can't see. Behind you. Oh no. Dot dot dot. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. Wait, everyone says Asgore sounds like a nice person, but Toriel told me that we can't let this happen. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Well, okay, I guess that's a pretty good reason why you wouldn't want him to get into the surface. I mean, it would be nice if we could just live in equality again, but uh, I guess I'm, am I the only one? Okay. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! Oh man. You did it! Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. He really doesn't get it, does he? Or she? Yeah, oh wow, I just realized this is a girl this whole time. <laughs> Wait, who's she fighting? Hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? We gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Oh man, that's funny. Okay. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Is this the same conversation from earlier? Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter? Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. Aww. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Oh. That could be for various reasons.
Yo! Yo is where we're going to have to leave it at, because uh, I've reached my time limit for this episode, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode of Underhead. Uh, Underhale? <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode of Undertale. Peace out. Goodbye. Farewell. You know how it goes. Later.